Zell Boy Army. What is going on? It's your boy Zelanius and my man Ainsley. We're here today with another spicy video. This one is one that I think is very important early on in FIFA. I think a lot of you guys will appreciate. It's called How to Build Your FIFA 19 Ultimate Team. Very important. Having tips and advice on how to build the best squad early on can make a big difference. And I think some of these ones are a bit more obvious than those, but a lot of people forget about them. So I'm here today to give you some advice, hopefully help you to build your ultimate team a lot easier. So unfortunately, there's this thing called chemistry that makes it so you can't just put Messi and CR7 together now that they're in a different league to perform perfectly. But there's different tips and tricks that you can do that allow you to put in some players that you would like in the team that might not necessarily link together as well. And I'm here to give you them. If you like this type of content, boys, please smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. I'm putting out a video every single weekday for you guys. I'm trying to put a lot of effort in to give you content that you will like. If that's what you like, then please smash the like button, subscribe. I appreciate the support a lot. Let's get on with this video, boys. So, you can see the triangles here that I've got. This team here is about triangles that link together. So, this one, it's not even just a triangle, we've got four. Goretzka, Boateng, Alaba, and Neuer, all linked together. That allows, because they've got such strong links to each other, that means we could play a left centre mid who doesn't connect to either Goretzka or Alaba. And you could do another triangle up top. So you could do like this. Put in Fred, Lukaku, what is it, Mata. They'd all link perfectly together. And then put a Bamiang, Mikatarian. The only player in the whole team of chemistry here. And that is not a cam. Okay. Put Herrera. The only player there off chem at all is Goretzka because he needs one more link. But having one player off chem is not the end of the world. But having these links of players that link strongly together makes a big difference because these all have full chem even though they're not perfect links to everyone else. You don't have to necessarily be prem for the rest of the team but just Mustafi links to these two and then gives a strong link to a very meta player in Bellerin. Early on these triangles, the Alaba, Boateng, Neuers will make a huge difference. They'll make a huge difference in being able to build a nice team. You might have to put one or two players in that you're not as hot about, but early on triangles make a big difference. Use those triangles, use players that are very good with strong links and allow you to build a far better team. On to the next one. Icons. Icons make a huge difference. They're not cheap, that's the issue. So this might not be for everyone, but if you're going to get icons to link players into your team, make them central ones. Even if you want strikers, even if you want striker icons, you can just put them back into midfield just to get linked to more players. When you put them here, especially in this type of formation, Seidorf is linking to one, two, three, four, five players. Vieira the same. These guys only link to three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. So the position that's key for getting the chemistry is the midfield. If you can put icons centrally, it just gives you so much more options to build around them and allow you to put some better players in the team. Also, if you pick nationalities from icons like Italy, France, England, Netherlands, it'll allow you to get some players who get strong links to these icons. So icons, one of the reasons they're so expensive is because the huge advantage they give you in building teams, getting good chemistry. I would recommend, if you can afford it, having at least one icon in there unless you want to just stick to just having a league or nationality. Can move us on to our next point. National teams. Early on, one of the best ways to build a great team might be to go for one of the strong nationalities like Brazil, France, Germany, Spain, Italy, England are all good. Nations that have a good depth in players. You don't want to go for a nation that the only limit is very low or the only way to get the absolute best players is spend a lot. Bar maybe Griezmann and Varane, none of these players are probably going to cost a bomb. Um, and because they're all French, it doesn't matter if they play in the same league or not, you still get strong links to each other, which makes a big difference. It might, makes it easier to upgrade, you just get to the next best player in the nationality. And early on, you can use this with the triangles, with the icons as well, you can mix some of these ideas together. 
it makes it a lot easier to build the type of team you want. I think that nationalities is probably cheaper than one league to go in. It makes it very easy for you. And early on, nationalities is pretty good. I'd say that it gives you more room to manoeuvre, to build your squad going forward. And sometimes you can find strong links. Like Griezmann and Lamar, that's a perfect link and they're both very usable players. So, some people only really seem to look at the leagues, starter leagues, that's one thing people talk about. But starter nationalities, nations, can make a big difference. Okay, the leagues. See, we've got lots of players from lots of different teams, a few strong links in there, etc. Again, Matter, put him in there as a cam, but he's a right mid now. All these players, whether they have soft, like if you look, Pickford only has a soft link to all his players. Sanchez, Delafeu, Vardy, Van Dijk, they only have soft links, but they're still on full chem. You only need orange links across the board to make your players have full chem. So the leagues are another great way of doing it. So boys, you've got the triangles, Lila, Bobo, Tengnoia, find those really OP ones. They allow you to play some top tier players, but not have to build a team around that whole league. Icons can make a big difference. Those type of players allow you to put a lot more in, give full chemistry to players. Like I said, often give full chemistry to, to Pai is very good. Nationalities, that's one of the best ways to get links. Allows you a bit more options across the na um, across the leagues. Or in a league, gives you a lot of room to upgrade, obviously, in terms of the higher players in the league. And you can also add some icons in later on if you want to maybe hybrid it a bit. Boys, those are my main tips for building your team on FIFA 19. Make sure you use the tips I've made in the top 10 starter tips for building your ultimate team. Those will help you with this. Massively appreciate the support of the channel boys. Thank you very much for watching. Keep it spicy.